A cursorial organism is one that is adapted specifically to run. There are different ways of distinguishing cursorial organisms. For example, they can be distinguished by feeding habits so that a horse is a cursorial grazer and a wolf a cursorial predator. Cursorial organisms are typically adapted to long-distance running at high speeds, rather than animals with high acceleration over short distances, thus, a leopard is considered cursorial, while a cheetah is not. Among vertebrates, animals under 1 kg of mass are rarely considered cursorial, as they typically move in a series of short bursts rather than at a constant speed. All extant cursorial vertebrates are endothermic, allowing high metabolic rates and high endurance. Though it is possible some extinct species were ectothermic, some species of spiders are also considered cursorial, as they walk much of the day, looking for prey. Cursorial Adaptations Locomotion of terrestrial vertebrates Adaptations for cursorial locomotion include increased stride length by increased limb bone length, adoption of digitigrade or ungulagrade stance, loss of clavicle in mammals, which allows the scapula to move forwards and backwards with the limb and thereby increased stride length, increased spinal flexion during galloping. Decrease distal limb weight, increase in mass of proximal muscles with decrease in mass of distal muscles increase in length of distal limb bones rather than proximal ones, longer tendons in distal limb, decreased ability to move limbs outside of the sagittal plane, which increases stability. Loss of digits, loss of ability to pronate and supinate the forearm hooves, hoof-like claws, or blunt claws for traction. Locomotion of spiders. Spiders maintain balance when walking, so that legs 1 and 3 on one side and 2 and 4 on the other side are moving, while the other four legs are on the surface. To run faster, spiders increase the stride frequency. Cursorial taxa. Several notable taxa are cursorial, including some mammals, ungulates, agoutis, and kangaroos, and birds, as well as some dinosaurs. Several extinct tarkosaurs were also cursorial, including the crocodilomorphs Prischichomsis, Hesperosuchus, and several genera within Notosuchia. Jumping spiders and other non-web-based spiders generally walk throughout the day, so that they maximize maximize the chances of a catch, and web-based spiders run away if threatened. In evolutionary theory, the presumed cursorial nature of theropod dinosaurs is an important part of the ground-up theory of the evolution of bird flight, a theory that contrasts with the idea that birds' pre-flight ancestors were arboreal species and puts forth that the flight apparatus may have been adapted to improve hunting by lengthening leaps and improving maneuverability.